Lots and lots of condos underway in Miami and lots of apartments too. So what effect is all this having on the Miami apartment market? Welcome to Apartment Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Miami update. The condo market is back in a big way in South Florida. According to the Crane Spotters website, there are 9,700 units, uh, condo units currently under construction with a vast majority concentrated in that Miami Dade County area. In addition, there are 28,000 units that are either planned or proposed. And of course, not all of those will actually get going, but either way, there's going to be a lot. Uh, in total, that adds up to 284 condo products that have either just completed, are currently under construction, or that could potentially be underway soon. At the same time, apartment construction is at a 20-year high. There are 7,845 rental apartment units underway as of Q3 2014. That is up 32% year over year. And the biggest chunk of that is concentrated in the downtown Miami South Beach area, which is also where most of that condo construction is going. So what effect is all this having on the Miami apartment market? Well, so far, not much, but bear in mind, we're very early on in the supply cycle, meaning that very little of the condo and apartment construction is actually completed so far. So as a result of all that, apartment occupancy is at a seven and a half year high of 97.5%. That is up 50 basis points year over year, very tight rates in every submarket and product segment. And rent growth has been a little bit volatile, but generally quite strong. As of Q3, same store rents for new leases were up 3.9% year over year, down a little bit from the rent growth of uh, 5% plus in the previous four quarters, but still uh, 20 basis points above the U.S. average. And what's interesting, though, is that rent growth has really slowed down at the top of the market. Those units that are most competitive with some of this new supply that's going to be completing pretty soon. Units built in the 2000s and units built since 2010 recorded rent growth of just around 2% in the last year. And you compare that to uh, the units that are a little bit older, built in the 90s, 80s, 70s, and before that, and you see hikes of 4, 5, 6% in those units. And these trends are especially apparent in the downtown South Beach area, again, where all that construction is concentrated. And in that spot, top end rent growth has disappeared altogether. So given the big number of condos and apartments underway, what's going to be the effect on the apartment sector? How is it going to handle all this new supply? And the big question that we're going to be looking at is how much of this condo stock ends up in the rental pool? How many of the buyers are going to end up renting out those condo units and putting them in the shadow market? And condo trackers in the area are reporting that many of these condo buyers are from Latin America or from Europe. They're putting down 50% plus as down payments on these condo projects in order to finance them and get them going. And a lot of these people are looking for places to park their cash. And so we could have some absentee owners in that case. And how many of them put those units out for rental uh, could have a great impact on how the apartment market fares going forward. So the concern really isn't apartment renters going out and buying condos so much, so much as it is people in those apartments now perhaps looking at condos to rent going forward. Now, the good news is that the Miami economy is starting to show some good momentum. In Q3, Miami reported its best year-on-year -year job growth in nine years. So how do all these forces balance out? The scenarios here are probably quite wide ranging, but our baseline view is that the Miami apartment market remains a solid but not off the charts performer with occupancy coming down modestly to all the supply coming online and that rent growth continues to track right around 4% or so going forward. And that wraps it up for Miami. So until next time for Apartment Market Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's apartment market reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.